so let's go back to October 15th, 2017, almost a year ago. And that was when the hashtag MeToo movement exploded online. Uh, it followed investigative reports from the New York Times and the New Yorker that revealed multiple allegations against Harvey Weinstein, the Hollywood producer. And what followed, uh, which I think pretty much everybody knows now, is that thousands, perhaps millions of women went online to share their stories of sexual abuse. Uh, and it wasn't just women. I mean, the movement is about victims of sexual abuse, but it was mainly women. And a small number of powerful, mostly men, uh, fell from their positions in, in the face of multiple allegations of assault against them. So that was a year ago, but dates are important for shining light on, on movements, but they can also kind of hide what happened before. And I think it's really important to talk about who started the hashtag MeToo movement, which was started actually 12 years before uh, October 15th, 2017, by Tarana Burke, an African-American woman working with the most silenced in our society, young, brown, and black girls. And she was the one who started it. And it took 12 years for that movement to take off. Um, it, it's changed how we think about sexual assault. Uh, the question that I have now, as a number of these men who have fell from their positions of power start to reemerge, um, is, is how it's going to change the discussion um, about how long these people in privilege um, are, are exiled, if you want, before they come back. And I think that that is the question that we all need to be having very critically. Who gets to decide that? And my concern is right now that it's the men themselves who get to decide it.